So the debate just ended. They wrapped it up. The yeah. candidates even looked a little confused after they went off camera and they all gathered up with their handlers. People are here looking around at each other saying, wait, that's the end of this debate? That's the wrap up? That's the final question? This is amazing, really shocking. I, I, I think the moderators lost this debate. Donald Trump was a no-show for the second Republican debate. He still came out on top. And the media is melting down like never before. I have watched a lot of segments on Twitter partaken to the mainstream media. They are extremely shocked to experience what is going on. If you realize for the two debates, Trump has never showed up. When they are doing this, he's doing something different. And you know what? Maybe yeah. we can say... Since the former president didn't come here, maybe he'd be willing to do one with, with you and I. I think he owes it to our voters to come and make the case. You're I now mean, challenging. So this is going to be Hannity one-on-one -on -one debate. Let's central. do it. Let's do it, right? <laughs> I'll do and, anything. So, I'll ask here, Here's the thing, though. You owe it to the voters to come and make the case. No one's entitled to anything. You know, you yeah. can say, oh, the, some poll m months before. No. you got to make the case. you got to owe it to the voters. So I'm going to show up everywhere. I think that that's what we were able to do. Last night... Republican hopefuls met in California's Ronald Reagan Presidential Library for the second debate that aired on Fox Business Channel. <coughs> and the candidates came out swinging. Mm -hmm. Take a look. Joe Biden should not be on the picket line. He should be on the southern border. Where's Joe Biden? He's completely missing in action from leadership. And you know who else is missing in action? Donald Trump is missing in action. Donald, I know you're watching. You can't help yourself. I know you're watching, okay? And you're not here tonight, not because of polls and not because of your indictments. You keep doing that, no one up here is going to call you Donald Trump anymore. We're going to call you Donald Duck. All right. I want to ask the governor to... My wife uh, isn't a member of the teachers' union, but i got to admit, I've, I've been sleeping with a teacher for 38 years. And... Um, so full disclosure. I have a radical idea for the Republican Party. We need to win elections. Honestly, every time I hear you, I feel a little bit dumber for what you say. <laughs> that was the line of the night. Was, was, <laughs> <laughs> was there a, what was, what, what happened last night? What was this that was really? An absolute dumpster fire of a debate. I mean, it felt like people all vying for second place or cabinet positions. I'll say Nikki Haley, I think, was once again the winner of the debate in terms of policy and substance. But it's hard to even break through when you're arguing with crazy. I mean, Vivek Ramaswamy just takes it and will just bulldoze you. Here's the reality, though, is if you combine the average polling of all seven candidates on that stage, they still trail Donald Trump by about 20 points. So there's a... Because I'm a big anti-gun person in terms of, you know, shoot out, you know, mass shootings, et cetera, and these AR-15s. Even though I said the other day that if there was a loose criminal in the neighborhood like there was a couple of weeks ago, I would like to have a handgun. So I'm not 100 percent against guns. But they are so pro-NRA, this entire group of, of this clown car that was up there last night. And at the same time that they want to increase gun ownership and reduce crime, they, they don't understand the connection between crime and the guns. So if you have criminals who are mentally ill, a lot of them have guns, okay, have a gun, here's another gun, walk around the street with another gun, and then they worry about crime. They don't make sense, they don't put things together. Mm. They, they were completely irrational, these people. And you know what, you, you talk about low information voters, these are low information candidates. Just like you said about the trans community. Yeah. They don't even understand it. So, can you expect the American people to understand any of these? They don't, I don't know what they were talking about. I, I couldn't tell. Joy Beha will never understand real political issues. When you look at her, you know, she doesn't make sense at all. Talking about guns, you need to protect yourself. She's not thinking about that. She's only thinking about how people are depressed, how they have mental issues to go on the street, just carry guns. That is not the case. When you want to give this to someone, you need to check if the person is physically okay before they do that. Sometimes I don't really like to give our political opinions when it pertains to these shows because they don't make sense at all. For the sentence of slaves, this is personal. 
What is your message to them? So first of all, that's a hoax that was perpetrated by Kamala Harris. Uh, we are not going to be doing that. Second of all, that was written by descendants of slaves. These are great black history scholars. So we need to stop playing these games. Here's the deal. Our country's education system is in decline because it's focused on indoctrination, denying parents' rights. Florida represents the revival of American education. We're yes. When you take a look at this video, this clearly tells you about cackling hands on the view sometime i will be expecting them to make sense but i will still not realize it alisa is a republican but when you look at her if someone is not in her side she will stand up to criticize you she has been advocating for nikki Haley for some time if you look at this she says nikki Haley was the winner during the first debate, it is the same thing she said. Sonia Austin was not happy with that because she had a lot of grievances, particularly to Nikki Haley. When you look at that debate, to me, everything boils down to chaos. It is crazy to actually watch. Yes, when the evening ended, there were no signs the fundamental dynamics of the race had shifted. None of the contenders had effectively challenged Trump Standing as number one, none even emerged as a clear number two. The leading alternative to Trump, a standing DeSantis, has lost, and in a middle field of multiple contender, easier Trump path to claiming the nomination as it did in 2016. Some of the candidates may have had other goals in mind, either to be Trump running mate or to run for president in some future campaign or for fame or vindication because actually getting the nomination will mean wrenching it from Trump increasing secure grip. Instead of being in California, he had appeared earlier Wednesday addressing auto workers in Michigan, one of the half dozen swing states in the general election. That was one more sign he already has pivoted to the general election, campaigning against President Joe Biden and feeling free to largely ignore the Republican challenging him for the nomination. So you can see clearly what Trump is doing here. He has never seen these people to be, you know, running with him. Reason, he focused on the bigger show. He was in Michigan campaigning against Biden, not these people. It is to clearly show you the difference between Trump and these people. Even Gavin Newsom stood up to say Trump actually is the only person. Even Gavin Newsom stood up to say Trump is the only person that he has looked through all of this and he has not seen a single person running after Trump. What he expected, he never saw. They came here, I don't know if just to play or what exactly I wanted to know what she'd done, really. What 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 policies at the UN? Because that's a, her. She's a successful two-term governor. She was she was okay. Uh, she, she was well, an okay. She made, well, uh,